method of analysis with us from Propertech. So today we are going to learn how to process XML file through Spark SQL. So before the question, know what is XML? The XML is an extendable markup language for use to create the common information format and share the format and information of the data to the worldwide way. Basically, what we are doing here, we are just processing the XML data to Spark SQL for the fast result. So, for this, we have to open the terminal in particular XML format. So, just like same as CSV format, we are using the CSV terminal in Spark Shell. In the same way, we have to open the Spark Shell terminal in XML format. So before this, we are going to start here. We are just copy this command and uh, paste it in the terminal. So if you see here, it is to be open now. Now it's in a Spark shell. Now it's going to a Spark shell. It includes the package of the data bricks which is in XML format. So this terminal only used for processing the XML file in Spark SQL. Now it will adjust all the nodes and all the <coughs> demands which is needed for processing this file. I have to wait for some time for going this for enter the shell. You see, it is a set the Spark local IP address, Spark session available as Spark. Now, welcome to Spark. Now it's showing the version of Spark which we are using 2.2.0. Now, so before this processing, we are just copying this command. We are just now we are just import the file where the file is to be exist. We create a data frame for this so that the, we can easily access the file and the data contain of this particular file. So now if we see here it will give an error. This is which is in SQL context is not available or something like this. So for this, we have to import this particular package. Sometimes this is a coming, sometimes this is a not came. Depend on the system. So we are just import the particular package, which will help to re resolve this particular error. Now if you see here, it includes the particular package. Now we are trying to import it. Now again, it is giving error not found value SQL context. So for this we have to make a SQL context for this. Which is in org dot apache SQL context. Now, it will load your particular file. If you see here. Okay. Now, it will read all the content of your file, which is present on your file, and five more fields. Total fields is, I thought, six or seven. So, now we are, if you see here, we are creating the data frame. Now, we use this particular data frame for, for performing the operation. DF dot so now it will show all the content of a file or the data now we can perform any kind of SQL operation here now it's a book data so suppose we want to print particular schema for that then so data frame df dot print schema 
So it will show here for all the schemas that we are that we can using in a file. So these are the basic schemas which are defined in your input data. So now suppose if you want to print particular data of your particular file. So you can make a temporary table for this. We are using data frame. If you see here, it's the one we're going properly. So these are the basic command which we are using, we can use, now we can perform any kind of SQL operation here. So the basic thing is that how to load the file, after loading the file you can process any kind of data or the file. You can perform SQL operation for this. Hope you like the session, uh, friends.